video for Rob Crom uh, on Instagram. We all spoke to him a bit earlier today. Um, he spent a wet weekend in Dartmoor and he's been uh, hammocking him and his missus uh, under a British Army basher. And it turned out that the basher uh, wasn't big enough for the hammock. I know a lot of people hammock under bashers, but I personally think they're too small. And I've had uh, times where I've been out and the hammock's been soaked. Um, so what I recommend Rob is one of these which is a modified uh, DD 3x3 tarp. So here we go Rob, it's obviously not pegged out but that's um, easy enough to do. Put some um, shock cord in there just to take the strain. And I've got some 2mm hammer cord here and they're pre-tied prussics, uh, tied with double fisherman's knots. So they just sit on the ridge line, um, ready to use. And the ridge line is Amsteel, which is Dyneema, um, and that's available from DD Hammocks. It's static, and that's what you want. Because um, in the diamond configuration, you've only got three points on the tarp. So what you want to be doing really is stitching them, if you can. See like here, I've stitched these. It just eliminates all the sag in the tarp. And the Bishop bag itself is an X-Bed uh, medium dry bag. And I've put a, um, you can just about see in there, put a grommet in there, just to make it nice and easy. Well, the uh, heavens have opened anyway. I was gonna take it down and then show you the um, ridgeline knots, but what I'm gonna do is just show you on this one here, uh, this bit of hazel, I'm gonna show you with a bit of paracord instead. This one's called the Avenc hitch. So you put the bite over in your right hand and you lay them both like that. And then you grab this one round the bottom and over the top you create this loop and you grab that through there. I like to toggle it as well. That's solid. Okay, the next one's called a trucker's hitch. Um, and this is my variation on the chuckers and the chuckers hitch anyway. Um, my variation on the knot. So you want to first uh, go around your tree or your limb, and you want to work out where you want your um, loop, which is about there. Just a bit, yeah, about there. So you want to make a loop, twist it again, and just pinch that. Simple as that. And then you put your bite through. I uh, hope you found that useful guys, it's a nice tidy system, it's you know quite easy to put up, pack down. Um, yeah, if you've got any tips for me or you think it's crap and you've got a better way of doing it, let me know. Um, but I hope you found it useful and uh, I'll see you again.